So in this video, uh, we are going to go over an issue that I have had, and it seems to be a bug or a pretty common issue anyway in the OpenStack landscape Ubuntu version, and that is this network error that you get. So I ha I ran into the issue. Um, you I created a couple of instances, and then probably the fourth or fifth one that I tried to create, I start getting a network error. And let's see, I, I I found this workaround out here, uh, and it did work. I have removed it uh, just to see if I can reproduce the error. So I went into landscape, uh, and then I opened up OpenStack, and let's try to create an instance just to test, because I'd like you to see how I found this error and what it looks like. So just plain instance we'll use default it's okay uh, just one network interface now let's launch it so it goes through the build and it goes through the spawning but then it'll set here and spawn uh, for like five minutes and then it'll throw up this network error so we're building spawning Okay, so it'll sit here and spawn for like five minutes. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while it's spawning, and hopefully we can see that network here. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So you can see it took about five minutes for this thing to error out when we tried to spawn up this, spin up this instance. And this is the area that you get. Uh, fail to allocate the network. And it's not going to retry it. Uh, again, I just searched around on OpenStack until I found people that were having the same error. Um, so if you take a look like at the log for the machine, there's nothing there. Uh, I mean, it didn't even tr get far enough to try. And you can go out to the server and, and take a look at the, uh, the Nova log and, and see the same thing. But it really, it pretty much tells you the same thing that this box up here did. So it's not very helpful. So it appears to be some sort of, we'll terminate this instance since it didn't work. Uh, it appears to be some sort of VIF virtual interface timeout setting. So in one of the previous videos I showed you how to get into the Juju um, internal admin GUI. And because we have access to this, uh, these fixes are much easier to apply. Uh, go down and find your compute node and bring it up over here. So if you were to go into your compute node and, and take a look at uh, the nova.comp file, it's going to have a big banner on it that says this file is uh, administered by Juju and if you make any changes to this file, Juju is going to overwrite them. And that is very true. So you on, on a Juju install like we have here for the cloud, uh, you can't just go edit those files, nor should you need to. Uh, Juju makes it much easier for you to do these kinds of things. So we have this uh, we have this fix that we found out here. So we need to add these things, but it says you need to add them to your Nova comp file. Well, now we have Juju, so uh, we'll just go to our Nova compute. We'll go over here, and there is a box for adding config flags. So and it tells you right down here this is set in the nova.comp file. So all this does is it's going to go edit the nova.comp file for us. So and the fix that we have it says we need to put that we need to up the the timeout the plugin timeout and uh, set it to be fatal it, it not fatal fatal equals false. And you want to format all of these configs with a comma. You separate them by a comma. I've just got it prepped over here on our scratch pad. So pull that guy up, Juju Admin, and hit a, put a comma in there, and then paste those two fixes in there. Now another great thing about Juju is we have four compute nodes. We could have a hundred compute nodes. Doesn't matter. Uh, what you put it on one of these. So you notice we have a list of these units out here. Just pick one of them. Uh, put in your config and hit Save Changes, and that's going to apply it to every compute node. And of course you have to commit it. So we made one change to Nova Compute. Configurations changed. Hit confirm. Changes have been sent. 
to Juju and committed. Now we've got our flags there. You can go back here and see Nova Compute 1. Go back to settings. It applies to all of these nodes. So now we have our fix applied. Um, thank you, the OpenStack forum. <laughs> Uh, and let's try. Let okay. So it, it's deleting. It, it sometimes it just doesn't update. Let's try another instance. Let's try a test three. You can always tell when something bad is going wrong, because these instances t only take you know like 40, 50 seconds from boot to, to ready to go. So if it takes much longer than that, something is definitely off. So we'll just create a generic instance here. Let's launch it. Shouldn't take very long at all to go to a running state. Working on the storage. And it's running. No ugly error and let's go take a look at the log there he is he's configuring network scroll to the bottom still working on network sometimes you'll see this error this waiting on 120 seconds for network device that's not a good sign either. That usually means uh, there's something wrong with DHCP. So well, DHCP on the internal admin network. So let's let that go through its 120 seconds and I'll pause the video. Okay so it did go ahead and continue after the 120 second wait. Uh, it can't grab an IP. You can see, if you see this kind of stuff failed, it means it can't get to the internet. Uh, and you can see it did not grab an IP for ETH0. So that's bad. So let's go back in just maybe, you know, things weren't applied to all the nodes fast enough. Maybe something happened. So let's kill that instance. and while it's deleting you can launch others but let's launch a test four just to see if it will resolve itself before we go troubleshooting all the network stuff this both of these networks are set up DHCP so they grab the NIP that's probably where we're having an issue if that E0 wasn't didn't have an IP on it that's where it's coming from Let's try it again. Okay, well, we're still not getting the red error, so that's a good thing. Now we've got IP 18. Let's take a look at the log. I have a feeling it's getting ready to do the same exact thing. 120 seconds. Okay. Uh, we've got some network troubleshooting to do. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so we were getting this um, 120 second timeout and you uh, couldn't see the IP address. Uh, so let's go pop into networking. Networks. And this is the admin network that they used to talk to each other but this is really the only interface you need this is the ETH0 interface if you go down here you see so like this is stale this is from one of the failed builds where it didn't actually assign that in it. but here's here's where your, D, your fake DHCP server I guess it's not fake it's virtual but uh, if we're getting issues like that uh, for ETH0 just come in here and edit this port force it down same for any one of these services like if you can't get through the gateway or something just force it down and then force it back up that causes it to reset the interfaces it's just like an you know I have config up or down same thing so we reset DHCP now let's see if that just solves our issue 
you gotta remember when you go to landscape this still says beta <laughs> so things like this happen so let's launch another one get lots of practice at making instances all right networking spotting got 20 this time it's running no ugly red box let's go to the log configuring the network full log hey there you go now we're getting an IP so DHCP was hung up let's update again let's see you can see it took 24 seconds total to get this all the way to the boot screen and just for good measure uh, we'd have to associate an IP with it so it's up it's good I'm sure it is uh, let's just confirm real quick Associate a floating IP. Let's add another one. Okay, so we'll get 1.12. Associate. Let's jump out here. Remember, you have to have your SSH uh, key, which I've already I've assigned my SSH key. That's in another video. Anyway, open that up. Yep. So he's good. He's open. He's ready to go. I have config. There we go. He's got the IP. So we actually fixed two bugs. We fixed the the VIF issue, and then after you restart that compute node, he got hung up on DHCP. So we just upped and down that port, and we're good to go again. Uh, that's all for this video. Hopefully that helps you guys. Thanks.